people have the perception that a conflict exists between science and the Christian faith. Some argue that the latest scientific advances make belief in God unreasonable and render the biblical creation accounts unbelievable. But is that the case? To help me answer this question, I'm joined today by Dr. Eddie Del Rio, a medical doctor and a Christian. Eddie, scripture teaches us that God is revealed in the record of nature. As a scientist, what do you consider the strongest evidences of God's existence from the record of nature? That's a great question, AJ. And uh, let me preface by saying, I think the best argument for God is a cumulative one, one that comes from many different angles. But scientifically, there are things that really uh, scream God. One would be the fine-tuned nature of the universe that is necessary for our life to exist. Uh, I think life itself is one. I kind of find it as an unnatural state because nature seeks equilibrium, but life is all about creating and maintaining disequilibrium. And I've spoken of that in other videos. Uh, a more interesting uh, evidence, in my opinion, is that of the problem of chirality. Oh, yes. As a cell and molecular biologist, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but for viewers who don't know, in organic chemistry, we can have the ability to call a molecule that involves carbon as right-handed or left-handed. It, it will have the exact same chemical empirical formula, mm -hmm. but it has a different shape. And the, what's fascinating is that all 20 amino acids that comprise the proteins that make up our life are all left-handed. Yes. This is amazing. And then the ribose sugars that are part of the DNA backbone, or I should say both for deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, and ribonucleic acid, RNA, are all right-handed sugars. This is akin to discovering today that every chocolate chip cookie you ever ate, ever bought, ever saw, and the same for all around the world, had an even number of chocolate chips in it. Hmm. This sort of prompts a suspicion of some kind of intelligent agency, that it's an artifact. Right, and, and basically the biology wouldn't work if all of the amino acids weren't left-handed and all of the nucleic acids weren't right-handed. We would run into functional problems, correct? That is correct. And so why is, why is it a challenge if we observe all of that in living organisms? There must be a really easy way to come up with a, with a left-handed or right-handed chiral solution of only amino acids or nucleic acids. Uh, well, it's not easy. In fact, uh, pharmaceutical companies make drugs. And uh, when they just crank out the chemical equations, it comes out in a 50-50 ratio they call racemic. Um, a medicine like um, omeprazole, which is the active ingredient in Prilosec, mm -hmm. is such a medicine. Mm -hmm. But then pharmacists uh, and pharmaceuticals sometimes have the objective of producing only one of the chiral fashions of that. And so it's a much more difficult process to mm -hmm. get just left-handed molecules, as in esomeprazole, the active ingredient of Nexium. Yeah. Uh, it involves intelligent agency to try to get just a monochiral or one-handed molecule. And we run into those same challenges if it's just simple amino acids or, or nucleic acids. That's yeah. correct. Are, are there other examples in nature that you see that are compelling? Um, I, I think the fact that consciousness exists, um, it is difficult to explain how the immaterial can come from the material. And what I'm talking about, of course, is not just our ability to think, but even our ability to create things like poetry, mm -hmm. art, music, philosophy. In fact, things like humor, mm -hmm. courage, mm -hmm. fear, these kinds calculus. of... Calculus. <laughs> well, you know what they say, the, best re the only reason for taking calculus in college is to lower your GPA. <laughs> okay. AJ, I've got another one too, and that would be the existence of biological prescriptive information. Uh, this word prescriptive, uh, let me just unpackage a bit. Uh, an easy way to think of it is that doctors write prescriptions. They're instructions. Mm -hmm. Any information that is instructive it might be assembly, a blueprint, mm -hmm. the score to a music, these are all kind of prescriptive information. Inside life, we have biologic prescriptive information that is conveyed by DNA. Mm -hmm. Now, DNA is a chemical molecule, but uh, it's just a data storage system. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is the information that overlies it, the information 
that's found in DNA that means something else, in fact, means particular proteins, that relationship is astounding. Mm -hmm. And I believe is another fingerprint evidence for the existence of God.